thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. Second Samuel 5 David, king of Israel. All the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron and said, Here we are, your own flesh and blood. Even while Saul was king over us, you were the one who led us to battle and brought us back. The Lord also said to you, You will shepherd my people, Israel, and you will be ruler over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron. King David made... a covenant with them. It happened in the Lord's presence, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was 30 years old when he began his reign. He reigned 40 years in Hebron. He reigned over Judah seven years and six months. And Jerusalem, he reigned 33 years. All over Israel and Judah, the king and his men marched to Jerusalem against the Jerusalemites who inherited the land. The Jerusalemites had said to David, you will never get in here. Even the blind and the lame can repel you. Thinking David can't get in here. David. Yet David did capture a stronghold on Zion. That is the city of David. He said that day, whoever attacks the Jerusalemites must go through the water shaft to reach the lame and the blind who are despised by David. For some reason, it is said, the blind and the lame will never enter the house. David took residence in the, in the stronghold, which he named the city of David. He built it up all around from the supporting terraces inward David became more and more powerful and the Lord God of armies was with him King ha King Herman of Ty sent invoices to David He was also sent cedar logs, carpenters, stone masons, and they built a palace for David. Then they, then David knew the, that the Lord had established him as king. All over Israel had exalted his kingdom for sake of the people, Israel. After he arrived, 
from heparin. David took more combines and wives from Jerusalem, and more sons and daughters were born to him. These are the names of those born to him in Jerusalem. Shema, Shov, Nathan, Solomon, Abar, El, Nepeg, Jap, Elsh, El, Eldaya, and Elpalad. When the Philistines heard David had been anointed king over Israel, they all went in search of David, but he heard about it and went down to the stronghold. So the Philistines came and spread out in the Rapin Valley. Then David required of the Lord, inquired of the Lord, should I attack the Philistines? Will you hand over the Lord the we hand over them to me? The Lord replied to David, Attack for I certainly will certainly hand the Philistines over to you. So David went to Bilpazim and defeated them there and said, Like a bursting flood, the Lord has burst out against my enemies before me. Therefore, he named the, pa the place the Lord burst out. The Philistines abandoned their idols there, and David and his men carried them off. The Philistines came up again and spread out in Rapim Valley. David inquired of the Lord, and he answered, Do you want me to not attack directly, but circle around behind them and come, come at them opposite of the balsam trees? When you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, act decisively for then the Lord will have gone out ahead of you to strike down the army of the Philistines. So David did exactly what the Lord commanded him and struck down the Philistines all the way from Jeba to Tazir. Philippians 2 3. Don't do anything for selfish purposes, but with humility, think of others as better than yourselves. Again, Philippians 2 3. Don't do anything out of selfish purposes, but with humility, think of others as better than yourselves. One of my favorite verses is Philippians 4.13, and it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Again, today's verse of the day is Philippians 2.3. Don't do anything out of a selfish purposes, but humility. Think of others as better than yourselves. Always remember to smile, because if you smile, 
You'll never know what a smile can do for someone's day. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.